Hello, Bolet Talks uh, listener. Welcome back to Bolet Interview with Fala. Today we have a special guest coming on, uh, an award-winning artist and apparently also a fashion icon too. Here's the talented young singer, Rule. How are you, Rule? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Amazing. Now, before we start, uh, before we jump right into your collaboration EP with DMS, uh, I want to ask you some stuff first. Is it okay with you? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you've been in the industry for a while now, right? Uh, you you debuted in uh, 2018, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, for this couple of years, uh, do you notice or how do you think the industry has evolved uh, this couple of years? Uh, I mean, the past couple of years since COVID, I suppose it's evolved a lot in terms of the live music scene. Um, mm. Yeah, it's becoming harder for some artists and it's definitely becoming more expensive. That's the <laughs> thing about live shows. It's uh, it's becoming harder, but uh, I don't know. It's 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 definitely, it's strange. I mean, it's over the past 10 years, obviously, I feel like I kind of just started my career, right? As Spotify, mm. Apple Music yeah. started to take over the whole world. So I, I wouldn't know what it would be like being an artist where you're trying to just sell CDs, which you know, <laughs> yeah. maybe that would have been nicer. It might've been also a lot harder. So uh, yeah, it's a, it's a strange time, especially if you've been around throughout the, you know, yeah. all periods of the music industry. Okay. Yeah. I guess like you said, it, it's now it's the era of streaming, right? Like, and from the marketing of the music standpoint, you use social media, social media is now a big thing, right? In music. Yes. So, uh, yeah. How, how do you perceive it uh, from your point of view? Is it more of a more opportunity for you, or is it a challenge with uh, how big social media is in music right now? I mean, it's both. Like I said, it's just like it's it's uh definitely a um a easier way now to kind of get yourself out there. But at the same time, you know, social media. I feel like now as an artist, if you try to use it as a tool, it's more about trying to promote yourself, not your yeah. music. It's wow. about your personality and it's about all this and it's trying to sell everything else about you, which yeah. lots of artists don't like that. And I get yeah. that, because, you know, I feel like anyone who wanted to become a musician didn't sign up for becoming a influencer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. Like, <laughs> we, we, like, you know, well, we think our job kind of going into it is just going to be writing music and playing gigs, but yeah. I feel like, uh, which you can still do. And there's still artists that can just still do that. But um you know, yeah, you, social media is such an important tool now and it's such a massive tool that I feel like if you don't lean in, sometimes you feel like you're missing it. You must be missing out on something. So, uh, yeah, it's weird. But I don't know. I look at it both ways. Yeah, absolutely. Not everybody could uh, be an influencer just like that. <laughs> Some people just want to play yeah, music, create music. Uh-huh. Yeah, they didn't sign up to be an influencer. <laughs> yeah. And for do you have any tips for any upcoming or any insp- aspiring musician uh, to come into the industry at this time, at this era? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I've, I've been, I've been kind of, you know, um, I don't know. I feel, I feel like I've been doing it for a while, but at the same time, I, 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 I don't. I still don't think I know anything about it. I still believe that no one really knows what they're doing. So. <laughs> uh, I would say to be okay with not being super certain and like feeling that like certainty does take time um, Mm -hmm. and experience. So that was always my main struggle was just finding certainty. And then I think the main thing to kind of help you get that is just to keep a, uh, if you, you know, it it doesn't, it, sometimes it, it's too hard to do by yourself and you need a team of people. You need to just like bring in friends or family or people, you know, that are, interested in what you're doing or interested or believe in you and keeping them close and keeping it as small as possible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and also, uh, according to the app, uh, for you, what do you think about, uh, is it better to stick to a certain style that you like in music? Or do you think that uh, exploring other genre is equally as important to grow as an artist? I think exploring anything that inspires you is the most important thing. Um, you know, if like, you know, if you're if you're bored of doing the same thing over and over again, I think the worst thing you can do is just feel tied down to that one thing, either because it works or because that's all you feel like you can do. 
I think, uh, yeah, you should always try new things and uh, whatever, yeah, can inspire in different ways. But I do think kind of figuring out your strengths as well and kind of bringing that into whatever you want to try is super important. I feel like, you know, sometimes you feel like you get bored of doing one thing and then you just want yeah. to do the opposite bit, you know, that it might not feel as good as what it does before or like a, people might not resonate it as resonate with it as much because you're kind of leaving behind what you kind of um what you're good at yeah. so uh, yeah I, I but you can always mix the but the mix the two i feel like i i've kind of had something where i used to you know make a lot of just r&b straight up the straight in line kind of pop music and then i was like oh, okay I, maybe now i want to do some like sad folky singer songwriter alternative stuff and then I wrote a bunch of songs like that by myself. And then I was like, oh, why is this not hitting? Like, this is the music I want to make, but it doesn't feel right. It's like, it's because I feel like my strengths weren't there. Like I, I need to bring in my strengths from like my previous attempts and uh, bring that into something new, I think is the, that, and that's yeah. where I found a lot more of my success and inspiration yeah. out. So you need to find, find the balance around the two, right? Yeah, it's all about balance. I feel like yeah. in every thing in the industry and every job it's all about a balance yeah let's jump right into the collaboration project uh, so can you tell me about how the collaboration started between you guys yeah so uh, i met the dma's boys in like 2021 and we had a few sessions to just write some songs for my album um i was writing a bunch of songs for my album that time and uh anyway we, we really just clicked and got along and the songs really felt amazing off the bat and uh they didn't feel anything like the, my album though. They still felt like it felt like this would be best suited as a proper collab between me and the DMAs. And I didn't want it to be just like a DMAs feature on my album either. So I was like, why don't we wait until they'd also just about to put out an album as well. So they put out their album. I put out mine. We all toured, we, we both toured the whole of 2023. And then we kind of came back at the end of the tour. and was like, let's finish these songs. Let's get it a couple of weeks in the studio. And and get these like grinded out and we finished them and put them out pretty soon after. So it was pretty cool to do it right after, you know, we've had the kind of the same schedule and uh, we're both now just working on our next album <laughs> and next project. So uh, yeah. it was a good time to put something out. Yeah, let's, we let's talk about the world life. Is there any special story or meaning behind the song? Um. Yeah. Well, I think the song in general is just kind of a euphoric kind of, uh acceptance of, mm -hmm. of life and self and just like the ups and downs of life and mm -hmm. uh you know yeah succumbing to the consequences and the good and the bad and mm -hmm. uh, just get yeah, being okay with the ups and downs i think is the main crux of the song okay how about we are a pair of diamonds what's the message or meaning behind it behind yeah it? pair of diamonds is a far more i guess personal song to yeah uh Tatsuki. i mean he kind of brought in the song and it was such a beautiful uh, sentiment and concept about just kind of loss in general. And uh, then I kind of brought my own spin on it from my experiences with like another, with another mm -hmm. verse and kind of wrote a different chorus to, um, I don't know, just I suppose to make it. More <laughs> and then uh, uh, the melodies, it just felt really dreamy and sad at the same time. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it was, really, it was really fun to write that one. And it was really special that song. Yeah, it's a, a very special song indeed. And musically speaking, is there any challenges you face when you collab with DMA? Um, no, I mean it was really easy from the get go. I I thought it mm. was going to be quite challenging. The fact that yeah. you know they're a band, and um, you know people would say we make quite different music, but I think yeah. when we got into the studio, it was just like we work really similarly. And uh, mm. you know, even though they're a band, it felt like everyone it was just like just writing with a bunch of people mm. like that's kind of what it's always been like I, I didn't know what it was going to be like but it just felt so natural and it's the same thing where people just bring in something that they already had had or you know, we just make something from scratch and it was so easy and uh yeah I think in general they're just really easy going guys and we all got like similar influences and the ways we write songs are very similar as well it's like all about kind of classic songwriting and uh yeah mm. it was it was quite it was quite shocking to see how easy it was. <laughs> so yeah, everybody just put in their creative ideas and then you guys work together to make the songs, right? Yeah. Do you guys uh, like make a general theme about it first or you just go with whatever? 
a bit of both yeah like i was saying like johnny kind of came in with the concept for paradigms what a life i think just came from scratch in the day it was just kind of a whatever sort of thing it's like yeah, yeah. it's just writing this is a cool melody let's see what rhymes with this so oh, that sounds like that now and uh, then you know the concept kind of comes within itself okay okay now that the collaboration songs uh both are out now how did your fans react to it is it very interesting yeah, it was great. I was I was interested to see I was especially interested to see what DMA's fans would think of yeah of it, <laughs> being a bit of a um different demographic as well as different yeah. fan base uh they were all super welcoming of me and uh they seem to like it as well which is cool I think they uh they can always join I you know can lean in when the DMA's guys do something a bit more pop as well because you know those guys are super versatile with you know, what they can do they can do rock they can do dance mm. they can do electronic they can do um absolutely all kind of, yeah, they do everything amazing band indeed yeah uh is there any live show or tour prepared for this collaboration or is it just a one-off release sorry say that one more time uh, is there any live show or tour prepared for this collaboration project or just uh, oh no this release? is the thing, this is a thing i guess we put out right at the start of our break in a way or just uh, like when we're playing we did a show um in sydney where we where we played with pair of diamonds and i'm sure in the yeah. future we'll be playing the same festival lineup and we'll get up on stage and play like we'll definitely get to do it live in the future i'm sure we will so uh yeah we'll wait around for that okay yeah like the ms is uh a more experienced band uh, than you right in the industry like how does it feel working with people that there's more experience you than you in the industry Yeah, it's nice. It's nice to have you know people who can give you a bit of wisdom and give you stories and, uh, yeah, have someone to look up to. I think all those guys I've been looking up to now for a while, and it was great to meet them and uh, to see what they're all about. And uh, yeah, it was it's, it's great. Yeah. Okay, maybe the I think that's enough for us today. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much for coming and spending time with us for the music. Thank nice you so much, Ru. I'll see you later. Good luck for the uh, for your future, okay? And for DMS hey, too. Bye. <laughs> okay.